Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 6th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SBCA of Anne Arundel County. Before we get into it, I am still hawking our daily news email recap. It does come to your inbox every night at 7 p.m. with the top local news stories of the day, and it is free. Sign up at the link. I'll drop it right here in the show notes. All right, now for the news. Let's get into it, shall we? On Sunday morning, a man was in his car on Americana Drive in the Eastport section of Annapolis when three men approached his car, smashed the driver's window, beat him, held a gun to his head, searched his pockets and came up empty and fled the scene. The victim was treated for an injury to his arm and the police do have no suspects. And the Anne Arundel County police are looking for three unidentified men in masks who robbed a cannabis store of their ATM on Monday. Just after 3 a.m., police responded to an alarm at the Greenpoint Wellness Dispensary on Elk Ridge Landing Road in Linthicum. The burglars forced open several interior doors to get to the ATM and loaded it up in a gray Ford truck and drove away. Nothing else was taken. The ATM was a likely target as it likely contained more cash than usual since dispensaries, for the most part, cannot accept credit cards. Police are investigating, but if anyone knows anything, like Maybe your neighbor with the gray truck all of a sudden has an ATM in his garage? Give the police a call at 410-222-6135. They did it. Gerardo and the crew over at Wild Kid Acres finished their new barn and have expanded the offerings at the coolest little farm you're ever going to find in Anne Arundel County. Now they are set up for educational classes, farmer's markets, goat yoga, after-school programs, riding lessons, rodeo lessons, and much more. It is so cool to see this pile of scrub transform into the sustainable farm, just like a phoenix rising from the ashes. If you haven't been in a while or ever, you want to go to wildkidacres.org, check it out, and then get down there to Edgewater and check it out in person. Here's one of those hidden gems in Anne Arundel County that not many people know about, the Taws Garden. It's a spectacular five-acre oasis in the shadows of the DNR building at Rowan and Taylor in Annapolis. And if you can, stop by and get lost in it for a while. You can thank me a little bit later. But on the 16th of this month, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., they will be hosting a native plant festival. So it'll be a perfect time to see what is native and what might work for you. And also, when you go, there is a free self-guided QR-based tour. Very cool. Are you interested in Spanish books? This is really another cool thing, too. The Mitchell Art Museum at St. John's will be opening a Spanish-language bookstore next month. It features used books, and it is a pay-what-you-wish model. And I'm really anxious to see this and check it out, despite my not being able to read or speak Spanish beyond asking, ¿Dónde está la baño? Do you consider yourself an environmentalist? Then you must see this film being brought to Annapolis and Maryland Hall by the Annapolis Film Society. Canary is the documentary of Dr. Lonnie Thompson, who climbed the highest peaks to study climate histories from the glaciers and mountains. Thompson is the world's leading climate scientist, and this film will thrill for sure. September 20th at Maryland Hall. Tickets are at a link on ionanapolis.net, or you can go to annapolisfilmfestival.org. And I do think this is going to be a sellout just based on what we're all about here in Anne Arundel County. So if you want to go get those tickets early, they do say there will be a cash-only rush line the night of the screening, but that is only if there are any seats available. And everyone always asks me when these things are happening. And my answer is usually, oh yeah, that happened last week. But I'm ahead of the game this time. Shredfest. You can get rid of all of those unwanted documents, old tax returns, top secret files from the White House, and all of that personally identifiable stuff. Arundel Federal Savings Bank is hosting the Shredfest on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at their Riva Road office, which is at 2661 Riva Road. So 
get shredding on Saturday. And rumor does have it that the Boatyard Beach Bash, also this Saturday, is also sold out. You snooze, you lose. Better luck next year. All right, that's a wrap on the news. Up this Saturday on the Local Business Spotlight, we're speaking with Dr. Carrie Muller at Hoffman Animal Hospital. And man, I'll tell you, a lot has changed in veterinary medicine over the years. All right, let's put this puppy to bed with a quick thank you to you and also to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Alpha Engineering, Scout and Mollies, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. So now you need to hang tight because George Young from DCMD VA Weather is standing by with the only locally forecast weather report you will find. And the very, very young Bridget, or Beeper Buzz, is here with the most accurate and up-to-date live music info with Annapolis After Dark. And I say she is very young because someone made a Facebook comment about Marlo Thomas and that girl, and she was clueless. Or maybe I'm just that old. Either way, all that's coming up in just a bit, so hang tight. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years and i no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years if i waited for cheaper solar i'd still be paying an electric bill at solar energy services we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait so what are you waiting for sunshine's a wasted call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net sunshine sunshine Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, September 6th. Yesterday brought more very hot temps to the Annapolis region, and today will be a virtual repeat. But relief is in sight, with a chance of rain each day, Thursday through Sunday, with temperatures back into the 80s for the weekend. Look for sunshine again today, with highs back up in the 94 to 101 degree range, with temps staying in the 90s, 4 p.m. highs tomorrow, with a small chance of some p.m. showers or storms, followed by a slightly higher chance of rain Friday through Sunday with highs Friday in the upper 80s to lower 90s before mid to upper 80s on Saturday and low to mid 80s 4 p.m. highs on Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Another exciting weekend of affordable family fun at Prince George's Stadium with the Bowie Bay Sox. Last weekend of the regular season kicks off on Friday the 8th with Adley Rutschman Night. Mystery Adley Rutschman giveaway items for the first 750 fans. Fireworks on Saturday with the return of our 1K beer run. See how fast you can complete the race while getting three beers down. And our Birdland celebration on Sunday. Free autograph items for the first 1,000 fans. Get your tickets now by calling 301-805-6000 or anytime online at baysox.com. The Bowie Bay Sox. Let us be your nine-inning vacation. Ready for a new look for those end-of-summer parties? Come see us at Scout and Molly's. I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate this great little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center. Come enjoy a fun, in-person shopping experience with a bonus, real customer service. We'd love to help you pick out the perfect outfit for back-to-school Annapolis boat shows and nights out with your friends. Scout and Molly's, Annapolis Town Center. Thanks for shopping local. The music scene in Anne Arundel County is popping, and sometimes it's hard to sort through it all. From blues to pop, from funk to ska, Beeper Buzz has it all covered for you in this week's Annapolis After Dark. 
morning, Annapolis. Beeper Buzz here with your Annapolis After Dark weekend music highlights for Wednesday, September 6th through Monday, September 11th. Go to the socials for Annapolis Streaming and Beeper Buzz and also both websites for the full schedule. We update the Facebook posts and all websites with changes and cancellations so you know before you go. AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com. Live music for today, Wednesday. Start with Hippie Happy Hour at 49 West with Dave Chapel and Friends. Timmy and Eric from Timmy Metz Band will be on the deck at Pusser's overlooking City Dock in Annapolis. Michael K. of Pretty Big Deal will be at Middleton Tavern. Alex Cooper will be at Mother's in Arnold. All You Need Band with Nate Finn will be at EDC in the MRE. You must be a member of the Eastport Democratic Club or a friend of a member to attend. Moose Jaw Bluegrass will be at Dark Horse. And under my other things to do, Hurricane Kevin's Open Mic Night is back at Firm Brewing up in the Croft and Gambrels area. Thursday, there is still no music at the point. Hopefully soon. In Arnold, Sean Musselman will be at O'Laughlin's. Frank Florence from Left of Center will be solo and serving up the tunes at Twain's Tavern in the Severna Park, Pasadena area. It's the first Thursday of the month, which means beer release night at all Ram's Head locations where you get to keep the glass. This month is Oktoberfest Lager and Live Music will be at two locations with PG and Neil at Ram's Head Roadhouse and Steve Van Franken and Victoria at Ram's Head Tavern in downtown Annapolis. Kevin Pollock and Doghouse Blue are playing up with the beautiful third floor rooftop at Metropolitan. Steve McCoy of Sparks and McCoy will be solo at the Graduate Hotel in Annapolis inside their trophy room. The Annapolis Maritime Museum's September Sunsets return to Back Creek. This is where the old Ellen Moyer Park was located down Edgewood Road, which is by the giant down Forest Drive. Kicking it off this Thursday will be Rickshaw Lizard. Ben Heemstraw will be bringing his band called Ben or B-Band to Dark Horse. And under my other things to do for Thursday, open mic hosted by George Evans will be up at Severna Park Tap House. Weekend music. Friday, Russell Jacobson from Bilgewater will be playing acoustic outside of Federal House and Market Space. The Friday Night Summer Concert Series returned to historic Goshen Farms in Cape St. Clair with music by Dirk and the Truth. Donations are recommended, which go to this historic property with so much history to learn from. Brent Austin Dunn will be at Langways in the Croft and Gambrels area. In Edgewater, Sean Musselman will be at the Bayside Inn. Chris Button will be on the Crab Deck at Stan and Joe's Riverside in Galesville. Big Money Bam will be at Annapolis Smokehouse. And Michael McHenry Tribe will be at Stan and Joe's on West Street. Saturday, Brant Austin Dunn will be at Great Frogs Winery off of Forest Drive. Sidewalk Soul with Adam Forbes returns to Mothers in Arnold. And down the road, Lauren and Rusty Duo will be at Brian Baru. Up in the Dina, Meerkat Nation will be at the office in Pasadena. Starbelly will be at Dark Horse. And Rickshaw Lizard will be making their debut at Santa Joe's on West Street. Sunday fun day. Start with the first Raven's Tailgate Bash at Severna Park Tap House with early live music by Top Dead Center before the game. Leather Chair Record Store Concerts return to Trip Records in Edgewater. Todd Donaldson, the front man of the band Good Talk Russ, will be playing Sunday afternoon as you browse their large collection of vinyl. Hurricane Kevin will be playing acoustic outside of Federal House and Market Space. And Sidewalk Soul with Adam Forbes will be back at Dark Horse in Annapolis. Remember, these are just the highlights. Find the full schedule of music for all of Annapolis and the surrounding areas on the Annapolis Streaming Facebook event and on the websites AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com, spelled B-E-E-P-R-B-U-Z-Z. Add the websites to the homepage on your cell phone, and then they become an app. Then it's just two clicks to the music anytime. I'll see you out there. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well-documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. 
Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.